Hey crafters, it's Janet. So, I ran to Hobby Lobby yesterday. We um, went out of town. It's in a totally different direction from where I normally go. But everything in their holiday section is 40% off. Whether it's fall or Christmas or Thanksgiving related, it's all 40% off right now in the store. So they had this really pretty like rope in the fall section. And if you've watched any of my other Dollar Tree hauls, and I'll link them down below in the box down below, go back and watch those. And if you leave a comment, that enters you in the drawing for a giveaway. And there's about five different videos right now of Dollar Tree hauls that I'm doing that with. But I have a couple of the signs for fall, and I think I'm gonna use this to go around the edges of it just really kind of dresses it up. It's really pretty. I did something similar to this with my summer ones and I actually just painted the back of them like a sand color and used some rope that kind of looked like sea, like um, you would use on a sailboat or something. And I just thought this would add to it. I'm gonna use this on the one that has the eyes and all the googly eyes on it. So stay tuned for that DIY. Picked up some of these other little Make It Christmas fillers. These are really nice. There's gold, silver, and red. And I thought these would be good inside these little ornaments. So, I got this ornament at AC Moore the other day. It's a plastic ornament with an open front. I'm going to plan to decorate this. I'm probably going to do this within the next week, I hope. Um, just go ahead and do one up and post it on my channel so be watching for that so I wanted some decorative filler to go inside some of these besides just um, glitter picked up some greenery this was a dollar 99 but of course it was 40 cents off so it was only a dollar 20 this one is really pretty love 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 it of course it's a little thicker and this one was actually $2.49, which that's not bad. I was going to guess that this one was $3.99 at first, but it's just beautiful. And this one was $1.99. It's just white. This with just white glitter and, and something inside that little ornament is going to look so cute. One other filler that I also picked up kind of just looks like a bunch of snowballs are $2.99. These were 40% off, of course. And look, there's dirt in there. Ah, actually, it looks like a pebble. Yep, I guess it's just a discolored one. These kind of look like little snowballs, and they even have a little bit of texture to them. Let's see if I can get it to focus. You know, kind of like real snow wood. So I thought that was pretty neat. I do have some of these in my stash, but I wasn't sure exactly how many I had, but they just look like little Christmas trees, and I thought that that wouldn't be nice possibly to have inside one of those ornaments too, and of course it has that flat little bottom, which kind of makes it easy to add glue onto it as well, and that's make it Christmas as well. And they also had these beautiful pine cones. Now these were just $1.49 a piece, but I thought that was really pretty. Now this won't fit inside that ornament because it's just too big. Kind of give you an idea of, unless you just wanted one thing in there. No, just kidding. It's too big, but I got these for decorative purposes. I may even use them on my little shelf in, up here in the kitchen and put them inside those mason jars. That would look really pretty. I did get some fine glitter. This was in the Make It Christmas section too. The best part about that made it was that it was 40% off of that $3.99. But I got one with the red and green in it. And then one with the two whites and the silver. So I would definitely um, probably use these for the ornaments. I wanted some really fine white glitter. Also picked up some of these really cute ornament hangers. Um, they were $2.99. And like I keep saying, everything that was Christmas or Thanksgiving was 40% off. So, 
but there's a bunch of di there's different ones in here but I thought this would be really good to to put on this and hang it by and just make it really elegant they had this in the little section of um, I guess miniature Christmas trees and they're like little lanterns and I'm so planning on using this one or two with the dollhouse and then maybe making a couple things for the fairy garden so be watching for that too but this was $3.99 for the four of them so I'm thinking yeah well a dollar a piece but of course 40% off and then I did go ahead and pick up just some smaller little bottles the only thing I hate about these is they are glass so I don't really want to give these something for my niece to have but this would be cute for the fairy garden and then I picked up some of these buttons. I've bought these in the past before. I really like them. They're, they do not have anything on the back of them, so they're flat, but I thought that would make it perfect for using with this little ornament as well. Either putting it up here on this part or just, you know, even around it. I don't know, it's gonna look good either way. And you could even glue them to each other and put them inside so you could see inside the ornament and outside the ornament you know that snowflake and then one other greenery I picked up this one was $2.99 but probably would use like just a piece of it off of these pieces to put inside that ornament as well and I just thought that was really pretty I kind of wish I would have gotten more than one now but I only got one of these and they had this Robert Stanley home collection it's table scatter but it's snowflakes. I don't know if you can really tell. It's kind of hard to see in there with them. It's hard to tell in the package. I can tell by looking at them in the store and whatnot. I did pick up one other of these in this color. So the other one was red and then this one's gold. And I only picked up one of each of these because by the time I'm all, it's all said and done, you know, I could use these to decorate more than one of these ornaments. So, but I love how there is this really thick, like chunky glitter stuff on these leaves. And even on these little berries. But just really cute. And this one was $1.99. And then they had this fall party confetti. I thought this would be good with pocket letters and different things, but there's all kinds of different leaves in there and pumpkins and acorns and everything. So I really like that. So I got suckered into this little paper pack. This is Old World Winter. It was $6.99. Of course, 40% off. But there's some really pretty prints in here. I have to go this way so you can see them. Of course, they're going to be upside down, but sorry. And then there's like several of each. I really like that little Santa Claus one. It just looks like an old timey print. I thought this would either be good for pocket letters because there's actually like four piece pages of each, I think. There's at least three each. Yeah, there's three each, sorry. But just some really pretty prints in there. And then these I love. This one was $1.99. I only found one of these anyway. I kind of looked around. I'm sure they had some more and I just was overlooking them, but look how pretty these leaves are. I'm just gonna add them to something. Either one of those little um, Dollar Tree signs or something. I'm gonna add them to, or I'll put them on the wreath that I make, cause I'm gonna end up making a wreath with all this mesh that I bought. And then they had these, and I love this with the little jewels in it. And then these little flowers. This is just so pretty. And this one was $2.99. And then I got two different colors in this. This one's kind of a more yellow flower. And then I got one that was also a more orangish red color. But this would really add to something. Now these were $2.99 a piece, but I just thought they were so pretty. 
they have these things by wood pile and it says it's a candlestick and there's five pieces in there but honestly I plan on using it this way with this being the bottom and this is the top for the dollhouse to kind of have either a plant stand or something and then I can paint it whatever color I want to or I can come up with something else I may even use this as like under a table like a kitchen table as the base as well and I also picked up some of these really pretty sunflower stickers now these were part of the 40% off but they're just paper sunflowers picked up some die cuts that look like coffee cups I thought those were really cute there's eight pieces in here oh these are Christmas as well so this has Five pieces of Christmas words in it. Joy, Noel, Believe, Peace. That's only four words. I wonder what else is in here. Maybe there's two of one. It would be nice if there was two Believe. Because, you know, that's like my favorite one. Oh, I bet five pieces is that little star. Eh, I'll rip off. That's not right, because Believe could be that high. I'm just guessing. All right, so there's that. I already showed you the mini bottles, but then they also had their Tim Holtz stuff was 40% off as well. And I picked up a couple of these decorative domes. I thought this would be good for the dollhouse as well. And Hobby Lobby has a bunch of dollhouse stuff in there. Um, some of it's pre-made, some of it's like this, it's wooden. And this is, you know, paintable or stainable. And I just really liked it. I was planning on making something very similar to this. It, this one was $9.99, and the only reason I went ahead and got it is because everything else I bought was 40% um, off already. So I had that 40% off coupon, which is the only one Hobby Lobby carries, disappointingly enough. And I got this because I thought, well, I don't know that I can make something with drawers like that, but I might very well try. So maybe one day I'll kind of even use this to scale by, but... I don't really think that $6 for this is a bad deal at all. But then they also had this one, which was only $3.99. And it's like a little cabinet. And it's paintable or stainable. And the little doors work. course this is there's no glass thank goodness but and you know there's a few little places that you'll have to fix on it maybe but I don't know I just thought it made it kind of worth it to try this out because I wanted to see maybe the oh I was gonna say maybe they don't even come over okay. sandpaper but I don't know for four dollars I couldn't I couldn't make this for four dollars Definitely. And if you have a 40% off coupon even for this one, you know, that definitely makes it worth it. I thought that was pretty cute. So that's it for the Hobby Lobby haul. All right, so I did pick up a couple different things at the Target dollar spot that they had. Um, these two little things are great. These are heavy. I gotta say, these are pretty heavy. I only saw one of these two. I probably would have gotten two if they would have had more than that. But I liked them. And then they also had this jute twine. And it's really pretty. It's brown and it's got little gold accent in it. Let's see if I can't get this to focus a little better for you. There we go. It's really pretty. I thought it would just add something to a project and then of course it comes on this really cool little spindle thing so even when it's done it may be something that I could definitely use for the dollhouse and it was a dollar and I picked up some of these it's handmade modern specialty glitter and of course they're reusable glass bottles that are in here but honestly I picked it up for this one on the very end I think that is so pretty and they're really, they're nice size, but look at that. 
That's going to have to go in an ornament. That is so pretty. I don't even think it's as pretty on camera as it is in person, and it still looks pretty on camera. Just look at all those colors. And the way you hold it up in the light, you see a different color in there. If they'd had something with just this in it, I would have definitely gotten it. But these others are really nice too, so. And they're nice big chunky glitters. You know, this would be good for pocket letters. These are squares, these are stars, these are triangles, and these are squares, sorry. And these are octagons, so just kind of different shapes. I don't know, I like it. I usually don't use the bigger glitter, but I'm gonna. And then, of course, they had some cute stickers. These are an adhesive wood shapes, and they were $3.00. But, you know, they have the Give Thanks and Autumn. There's this big one that says Thankful. You could paint these. These really pretty leaves. Of course, there's a glittery fall. I just really like that. You could do a lot of things with these. I'm going to add them to something, too. So be on the lookout. I would have loved to have had more than one pack of these. <laughs> these stickers look like burlap, and they're orange, but I just think that, I don't know, they're really pretty. Adhesive letters, they're burlap. There's 44 letters. It tells you how many letters are in each one, and I thought, man, to even make blessed or thankful, well, I guess I can't make blessed. I only see one S, but we could probably do thankful or harvest. You know, something like that. But I just thought they were really neat looking. I can't wait to use them. And then they had some of these adhesive letters that are glitter. There's 51 in this one. There are actually two S's in here. But look how pretty these are. And it almost looks like you might even have an outline of the letter as well. That'll be pretty interesting. I can't wait to use that on something. All right, two other things that I bought. The last two things that I got at Target was this family sign. This was $3. I think it's really cute. It's kind of green on the back, but it's white on the front. So it's kind of got this green edging and that looks really neat. Of course, you could always paint it. And then I picked up another one that just said thankful. Because you can always add that to something. But I really liked it. And it's orange and it's kind of like a gold background. I think I would definitely leave that this color unless I had something, you know, in particular that maybe would look better than the orange. But it's really pretty. And... That was actually it for the Target haul. And I don't know, I don't remember showing these stickers. These actually came from Hobby Lobby. And um, they were back in the back near all the Christmas stuff. But these are small little, uh, they're round traditional icon foil stickers. And there's 24 different ones in here. And I think they kind of look old timey. Some of them have these little jewels on them. They have some foiling on them. They're really cute. I usually make um, badges for work because I'm a nurse and, you know, we have to wear a badge. And I love making badge holders. And I've made several of those for craft shows in the past. And I thought these would make really good badge holders. I just think they're really super pretty. You can use crystal effects over top of them to kind of seal them. Or um, I do buy some dome stickers. And I've gotten them off of eBay so many times that just kind of pop over top of the sticker or, you know, cardstock or whatever that you use. And you just glue it into the, the badge holder. And I won't show my badge badge, but this is 
kind of one like that I've bought before. I've gotten these offline um, because I really like the ones that clip more so than that just slide on. Dollar Tree does have some where they sell like three in a pack for a dollar, but they just kind of slide onto your clothes. And I really like the ones that clip, but this is like a bottle cap and I've just glued it down. And this is actually a special glass dome that I had picked. But I've bought images off of Etsy before and, and put them on these too. So there's so many different options, but I thought that this would be great for that. And then one last sticker set that I got were these jumping deer and they're kind of silver glitter reindeer stickers. There's 36 ones in there, but it's including the trees and the snowflakes. But look at those deer. I just love the silhouette look of these. They'll add to something too. So hopefully I'll get to do something with those soon. So that's it for my Hobby Lobby and my small Target haul. Um, just some cute little things um, that I picked up. So excited about this time of year and doing DIYs and different things and making ornaments. And that's like some of this is my favorite time of the year to craft because there's so many things you can make and so many cute things. So I just can't wait. I think even more so as um, time goes on and I make some videos on some of my Christmas crafts. Hopefully you guys will like that kind of stuff. So we'll end this here because I'm thankful for each and every one of you that tune into my videos and help me support my channel and, and, and by doing that. And the only thing that I would ask is that you please give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. If you haven't subscribed or you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. That'll let you know each and every time that I upload a new video when you log into your YouTube account. If you hit the bell, it will actually notify you to your smart device or even in your email, depending on how you have it set up every single time I upload a new video. I do have a giveaway going on until September 22nd. I'm doing seven giveaways. I'm pulling uh, random comments from the $5 tree hauls that I have um, most recently. I'll link them down below. If you're interested in getting um, put in the pot for that, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment on those videos. It's just a way for me to say thank you. And, you know, so many times I have picked up a few extra things here and there at the Dollar Tree with in mind of doing it for giveaways, especially if I know it's something that seems like it's harder to come by. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and take care.